And here's a follow-up call with Miss Jacqueline. Let's see if they've thought about some of the terms she told me yesterday that um, basically she needs to speak to her partner, husband, about something creative. So let's see what happens. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share. Hey, good morning, Jacqueline. This is Chris. How are you today? I'm okay, thank you. How are you? Pretty good. Just wanted to follow up with you in regards to our call from yesterday. Just wanted to see if you were able yeah. to... Yeah. Yeah, I had time to discuss it with my partner, and um, after thinking about it, um, we, we have a line of credit on it, and that line of credit has to be paid once we sell the property. So I know it's not a mortgage, but it's something similar to a mortgage. Uh, is this something you can still draw from now, or is it something that's um, stuck? We can draw from it today, but once the property is sold, you know, we can't. It has to be paid in full oh. because it's a lien on the property. Uh, how much is it? It's 75000 Okay. Um, let's see. Here. Yes. And so, so it's not... <laughs> Well, I mean, there's a couple of options, just depends on, you know, um, would it be better to just use the proceeds from the other one you sell and pay that lien off or? No, <laughs> not at all. So No, so, it's, that's not going to happen. Um, like right now, we, we uh, it's not an option. We have to have like full payment for it. Because we haven't decided whether or not we're going to sell this house in Wentzville yet. Because my daughter could take it over. Uh huh. So, so you know, it depends on whether what she's doing. If she's going to plan on staying in Wentzville, uh -huh. you know, she's just currently going to school. So I don't know what she plans on doing. Yeah, I understand that. Well, I mean, I'm trying to see. So, yeah. so, so if there is a way that we could buy it and um, and make sure that that lien is uh, still taken care of. Uh, is this something you still would want to do with something more creative? Well, no, because it's, it's, well, <laughs> I guess I'm always open to any option, but the thing of it is that... I'm sorry, your uh, line is breaking up a little bit. I think I'm losing this. I, I, we, yeah, we, we don't really want to carry a loan. Mm -hmm. for anybody like we're not you know it's it, it's not what we had in mind you know we could rent it if we wanted to go that route but that wasn't an option that we wanted to do so so just to be clear we're not looking to rent we want to buy it and when you sell it to us we take right. full responsibility of the maintenance repairs tenants anything dealing with that house you have zero obligation to the property uh going forward and you can Correct. be off in florida but we're also not making any interest on the money either. We can set it up to where you can make interest on the money. That's not a problem. We've done, like I said, we do these deals all the time. So um, we, it actually is the, the most profitable. If you're looking for the most amount of profit, this way would be the, you know, the most way. But, you know, you can you know, see what happens if, it, if you feel like something else will work better. Um, yeah, we're, we're just, we're, give, us, give us a, a little bit of time. We're... Um, yeah. Just trying to figure out, we just, like I said, we just put it up for sale. We're still trying to figure out what to do. Yeah, and that's what I was thinking, too. It's probably better um, you know, just I appreciate your, your options and your optimistic. Um, um, and I think you probably have some good ideas um, on what to do with it. It's just you're very, you're not very conventional, and I'm used to conventional options, if that makes any sense. Oh, I completely understand. You know, and a lot of people, they, you know, and that's why most of the time, so we buy a lot of lit properties that are listed with realtors that are expired. So say they've been sitting on the market for six months and I'm like, we could have bought that day right. one. But you know, you haven't went through that yet. So it's probably better just to keep me in yeah. your back pocket, see what the market says, see if you can get, you know, exactly what you're looking for. And I can just follow up maybe in a couple okay. of weeks and see if something changes. How does that sound? That sounds great because, like you said, I, you know, you sound. It sounds like you have some really good uh, options, opportunities. It's just um, I'm used to conventional kind of 
yeah. a, um, conventional kind of way, and uh, I've never thought about anything outside of that box, yeah. which doesn't mean it's a good thing or a bad thing. It's just it's not um, something I've ever thought of. What is your business name? Like, um, all I know is your first name, and that's it. What St. Louis Cash Buyers. Contact information. Yeah, and I, actually what I would like to do, I'm going to send you a text right now. Let's see here. Or, or the te the text or an email, other one. Yeah, I, I just sent you a text, so it's in your text inbox now, our website and everything. And what I would like to do, Jacqueline, awesome. is just send you over some basic information, you know, about us and how something like this could work that answers a lot of the frequently asked questions. Just so you have it in your back pocket, okay. like I say, um, if you can just text back your email address, I'll send that over to you. You can look it over, and I'll just follow awesome. up with you in a few weeks or something. All right. Okay, that would be awesome. I really appreciate that. That way I can look into it. And, yeah. You know, that way I'm not just kind of going off the cuff. And uh, I'd like to educate myself first and then go from there. Perfect. Because, um, you know, I, I want to make the right decision for us as well. And you definitely want to make the right decision for yourself. And so, exactly. And we want to make sure everybody's happy with everything. That's our biggest thing. Making sure we're actually solving the problem, getting you the best value. Because, you know, a lot of people think, oh, I got to, you know, do this crazy stuff. And I'm like, well, you don't really have to. It's just an option you may not have ever looked into. Yeah. So. Well, and that's just it. Um, it could be something that we've never looked at and it might be a good opportunity to, to look at it. Um, but I'd like to do some reading on it first or just kind of look at, look at it and then kind of without pressure and uh, which I'm not saying you're giving me any pressure by any means but uh, you know it's just easier to kind of take a look at it when I can and go from there and then I'll give you a call if it's something that we want to pursue perfect so when should I follow up you're thinking about two or three weeks or wait to the end of the month what do you think um what is the date today gosh I today mean, is the 8th um, eight, the eight. end of the month would be perfect actually yeah the end of the month would be perfect Perfect. I'll put you for Wednesday the 30th around that time frame and see what's happening because, you know, things Sounds can change. Good. Might have it sold. I might call back. You say, we sold. I'm going to say congratulations. So. <laughs> well, and I might even call you before then and say, hey, let's do something. So, you know what I mean? Like, it, it could work either way. So, I'm just, I just, like I said, we just put it up for sale on Saturday and we were still, you know, we still have a few things that we need to choose the property to make it show ready kind of thing. Um, because, you know, it, you, you always want it to look its best when you're going to have people coming through it. Because so. yeah, they'll beat you up on yeah, every little exactly. little nick and cranny. They'll say, oh, what's this? What's that? And so that's the thing with us. We, we buy it as is. It's really easy. So like I said, if, once you send me back yeah. your email on the text, I'll uh, send you some information yep. on it so you'll have it. And we'll speak again in, uh, whenever you're ready, okay? Thank you so much, Chris. I really appreciate, appreciate your patience. And I'll send my email right now. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Many times we speak to these people, and when you're talking creative, remember, you don't have to close them on the first call. This might be a drip over time before we actually get the deal done. So if we get the deal at all, we may not even get it. She might find somebody to come give her. Uh, they had it up for 300000 I don't think it's going to go for that amount, but hey. I don't think it's going to work. So, but when I spoke to her yesterday, she said 275 was the lowest. So I'm trying to structure a deal on the 275. That's another little tidbit for you. Put that in your notepad there. Uh, when you're negotiating these creative type deals, try to get the price down first and then negotiate the terms on that lower price, that lower equity position or more equity position for you, I guess we should say. So hopefully this video helps you out. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share, tag a battle buddy, let somebody know you out here doing this thing. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments as well. What do you think about this call? Was it good? Was it bad? Should we be following up with her? Oh, she just texted her email address, so that helps. So I'm going to send her over my LOI or letter of intent. And uh, we're going to see if we can make something happen for it. So don't forget to follow me on all social media outlets at Chris Monroe STL. That's Snapchat, that's Twitter, that's Instagram, that's Facebook, that's YouTube, that's TikTok. And you know we on Clubhouse at Chris Monroe STL. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. Find more leads than you can even process. That's multiple listing service. 
that's the MLS for you real estate agents, absentee owner information, find the cash buyers and flippers in any market nationwide, pull a pre-foreclosure list, and don't forget, you gotta find those comps, get nationwide access with multiple filters, powered by PropStream at WokeSource.com. Get your seven day free trial today, WokeSource.com. That's WokeSource.com. You may have heard the saying, the fortunes are in the follow-up. Now there's a brand new system that is great to help you cold call, text message, drop voicemails, and so much more all automated. You don't have to remember anything, just set it and forget it. All you have to do is speak to people. Check it out, WokeReply.com. It's a multi-touch marketing campaign where you can schedule to send text, voicemail, email, and even live calls all on autopilot. Check it out today, WokeReply.com. That's WokeReply.com. Hey, Chris, is that you? Damn. <laughs>